Jesus as our Savior and Lord. And on the profession of our faith, having been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, we do now in the presence of God in this assembly most solemnly and joyfully enter into a covenant with one another as one body in Christ. We engage therefore by the aid of the Holy Ghost to walk uh, together in Christian love, to strive for the advancement of this church in knowledge, in holiness, and in comfort, to promote its prosperity and spirituality, to sustain its worship, ordinances, discipline, and doctrine, to contribute cheerfully and regularly uh, to the support of the ministry, the expense of the church, the relief of the poor, and to the spread of the gospel through all nations. We also engage to maintain family and secret devotions, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindred and acquaintances, to walk circumspectively uh, in the world, and to be just in our dealings, faithful in our deportment, and to avoid all tattling, backbiting, and excessive anger, to abstain from the sale of and use of intoxicating drinks as a beverage, to be zealous in our efforts uh, to the advancement of the kingdom of our Savior. We further engage to watch over one another in brotherly love, to remember one another in prayer, to aid one another in sickness and distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy in feeling and Christian courtesy in speech, to be slow to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation and mindful of the rules of our Savior to secure it without delay. We moreover engage that when we remove from this place, we will as soon as possible unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's Word. Each one of us that has came to this watery grave has agreed to a covenant. Something that is unique to Baptists and unifies us across our churches and around the world with our brothers and sisters. Every Baptist has agreed to that church covenant that we just read. Let us pray. Lord, may we who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ continue to put to death our sinful desires. May we pass from death to resurrection, life through the work of Him who died and was buried and rose again for us. Your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Baptism is a holy ordinance appointed by Jesus Christ as a rite of passage into the fellowship of the redeemed community, His church. Jesus Christ spoke to His disciples, commissioning them, saying in the Gospel of Matthew, All power is given unto Me in heaven and on earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. First Peter in 1 Peter chapter 3 reminds us that water baptism is a symbol of a far greater death that has taken place in the life of a, of, of a sinner. Paul tells us in the book of Romans that those who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. It is then and there that we have been identified spiritually with Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. This watery grave is but a symbol of that death that has happened in the life of the believer. The Bible teaches us that believers are spiritually, or were with, with Jesus spiritually when He died on the cross. And because of that, it, it is a joyous moment that we can approach this watery grave. The Apostle Creed that has been used at baptisms for many centuries says this, three things that we as believers have as a foundational belief in our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. That's one. Two, I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, O Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of a Virgin Mary, suffered under Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. The third day He rose again from the dead, ascending to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living 
and the dead. And number three, I believe in the Holy Spirit of the universal church, the communion of the saints, and the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. If you believe in those things, say amen with me this morning. Amen. amen. Ready? I'm sweating. It's like a song in here. Amen. Brother Jeff Jackson, do you come to turn away from your sins or from Satan and all the spiritual forces that are against God? Yes, I do. Do you turn away from all your sinful desires that draw you from your fellowship with God? Yes, I do. And do you turn to Jesus? Yes, I do. Do you intend to be a faithful follower of Christ, serving Him by obeying His Word and showing His saving grace in your life? Yes, I do. And we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Sister Jenny, do you turn away from Satan and all the spiritual forces of evil that rebel against God? Yes, I do. Do you turn away from all your sinful desires and that draw you from the fellowship of God? Yes, I do. And do you turn to Jesus? Yes, I do. Do you intend to be faithful follower of Christ, uh, serving Him and obeying His Word and showing uh, uh, His love to others through yes, your life? Then we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Jeremy, do you turn away from Satan and all the spiritual forces of evil that rebel against God? Yes, I do. Do you turn away from uh, all sinful desires that draw you from the fellowship of God? Yes, I do. And do you turn to Jesus today? Yes, I do. Do you intend to be a faithful follower of Christ, serving Him and obeying His Word and showing His love to others in your life? Yes, I do. Then we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Lily, do you turn away from Satan and all the spiritual forces of evil that rebel against God? Yes, I do. And do you turn away from all your sinful desires that draw you from a fellowship with God? Yes, I do. And do you turn to Jesus? Yes, I do. Do you intend to be a faithful follower of Christ, serving Him by obeying His Word and showing His love to others through your life? Yes, I do. Then we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. In. Do you turn from Satan and all the spiritual forces of evil that rebel against God? Yes, I do. Do you turn away from all your sinful desires that draw you from a fellowship with God? Yes, I do. And do you turn to Jesus? Yes, I do. Do you intend to be a faithful follower of Christ, serving Him by obeying His Word and showing His love in your life to others? Yes, and based upon that, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. I had a step in there and it fell over. <laughs> Cora, do you turn away from Satan and all the spiritual forces of evil that rebel against God? Yes, I do. Do you turn away from all your sinful desires that draw you from a fellowship with God? Yes, I do. And do you turn to Jesus? Yes, I 
Do you intend to be a faithful follower of Christ, serving Him by obeying His Word and showing His love to others through your life? Then we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Alec, do you turn away from Satan and all the spiritual forces of evil that rebel against God? Yes, I do. And do you turn away from all sinful desires that draw you from a fellowship with God? Yes, I do. And do you turn to Jesus today? Yes, I do. Do you intend to be a faithful follower of Christ, serving Him by obeying His Word and showing His love in your life to others? Yes, I do. Then we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Do you turn away from Satan and all the spiritual forces of evil that would rebel against God? Yes, I do. And do you turn away from all your sinful desires that draw you from a fellowship with God? Yes, I do. And do you turn to Jesus? Yes, I do. Do you intend to be a faithful follower of Christ, serving Him by obeying His Word and showing His love to others through your life? Yes, I do. Then we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Do you turn away from Satan and all the spiritual forces of evil that rebel against God? Yes, I do. Do you turn away from all your sinful desires that would draw you from a fellowship with God? Yes, I do. And do you turn to Jesus? Yes, I do. Do you intend to be a faithful follower of Christ, serving Him and obeying His Word and showing His love to others through your life? Yes, I do. Then we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Water cleanses and refreshes. Jesus Christ is the living water. Through baptism, Christ calls us to love, and to trust, and to obey God completely. To die to sin and to the world. And to live a life in Christ Jesus. I invite you today to remember, God, remember God's promises in baptism. To turn away from evil. To reaffirm your loyalty to Jesus Christ and your commitment to His church. Let us pray. Heavenly God, we thank You for who You are in our life and for these that come forward uh, to be added into the redeemed. God, may You guide them and may You protect them. Lord, we know that Satan is real. We acknowledge that today and that the spiritual forces would attack. Lord, we just pray that You would put a hedge around them, around their mind and their spirit and their life, that You would do a work that only You can do. And from this day forward, Lord, that they would be your ambassadors in school, in the workplace, in their family, in their home. Father, we just pray that they would live for you. In Jesus' name, amen. And all God's people said, amen. amen. Thank you. 